Oh boy, we are finally here. It is the season finale of AB Mugens X1. Oh man. East and Ovi is, it, it, it has been a long eight months, eight to nine months, knowing that it's been a, it's been a rough, you know, time consuming season. But hearing that we have, it is going to be, uh, it was, we just, just got a few matches, you know, just for really to get me a little warmed up because I'm, I, I was excited. Kenzo just pinned the Intercontinental Champion um, earlier today, so that was a huge win. For Kenzo, but they pinned the Intercontinental Champ Master Barnes after arriving on the scene. But it was a very close to one. I, I wish I had the footage, but too bad I didn't I didn't have it. So, but you know what, Kenzo will or will probably have a title shot hopefully in the future. But it won't be easy for him. He's only the Master Barnes is pretty powerful. He's he's, he's down the champ. Of course, he that's the Intercontinental Champ who was drafted in the first place to the Land of Extreme and. Heard the heard the rumors that Gigan is that Gigan is returning soon to season X2, which is gonna be some hype. From, I, know, I know a lot of Gigan fans are gonna be happy with this. He's been he's he was he was indeed the most requested requested character on the roster. Because everyone else has been requesting him so many times. But Gigan is indeed back on the roster. Happy to have him back. It's I know a lot of people bring are pretty well, that's probably what, at the point where the comment section will actually were pretty were pretty you know, active at times. But now it's gonna be a very close one. But this this here what a way to open up the season finale with some good matches, but then we have our first official match to get things started. Hatsune Miku and Divas match and season finale will be indeed, like I said, eight matches on the card. And it's gonna be a very fun but I do want to thank everybody else too for the for the support. And you guys have been absolutely outstanding. For your, for your for your likes, the comments, and of course, with now the new uh, the new brand is going to be running running on, which will be seeing me on Mondays, as well too. So I'll be trying that one. Hopefully, I'll try to get that, you know, trying to really boost that up too as much as I can. But ECW does lead in ratings so far, ever since the brand split, has been reinforced now with having this, you know, two people running running maybe two rosters at the same time. So it's been a pretty rough one. But then we get to our first match of of the season finale. Hatsune Miku, uh, very a very popular Vocaloid Vocaloid singer. It's got a lot of his. She's been going through her album. Hopefully, he's ready to tune, really really tune up the band. No pun intended. But she got to have to. Hopefully, she could sue the Savage Beast within within the former first pick of the draft from 2019 was Tyrannos. This new Toho is danger is a dangerous diva, but knowing that she's got Moxie. Uh, puppies or maybe Jurassic puppies. I'm not sure how what that if that makes any sense, but still, it is going to be a very close singles match, very close divas match in this case. Two popular divas, but knowing that they're going to be successful, we're going to head over to a random stage. This is like this kick up season finale strong. We already have some good matches with Kenzo with a win over the champ. We're in the cyber world, round one. And Ooh, big flying spear attack there from, from Tyrannos. It's all about the actions that's going to take place here. But Tyrannos is a dangerous diva, like I said. And I'm already Miku's in trouble here. There's a thunder attack. We can try to try to use that leak. leak. I guess it gets but it's reversed by that thunderbolt attack. Tyrannos. Oh, big shoulder, big time shoulder block. Very emphatic move. It looks like Miku's got really got to check out. Really got to bring her A game. This is no regular. D this is a a really dominating fight. If you're, if you're Hatsune Miku, you gotta really have somehow to slow her down. But I know, so they ain't slowing down one bit. Ooh, well, big big military slam there, tossing Miku on the other side. Again, those flying spears. Right to Miku's grill. This is not good for Miku. She is in a world of trouble. Tyrannos again. Big thunder attack. But a near fall as well too. Uh oh. This could be in the Miku here. They begin the season finale and that's it. Tyrannos just too much. Too much beef. Too much power. And too much thunder. In that case. As she just gr grilling Miku too. Zero. 
All right, well, good start to the season finale, folks. I mean, we had a 2-1 match, but unfortunately, it, I didn't get the footage in time, so... But it was still a, good, a, a really good six-man match with, uh, with Kenzo, D, the DK crew, and having uh, Ramona Oswald, the Hall of Famers, former tag champs, and he got a uh, Intercontinental Champion for them in the Master Bonds. Really nice matchup, too, earlier. But we saw, as we transition over here, me, Q, and... Uh, and Iku and Tyranos, Tyranos again proving that she is she's back and hopefully she can make a heavy impact into the, and hopefully in the next season. Or possibly she could be a good spot to fit on Raw, maybe, but we'll have to figure that out. It's only it's only the beginning of, of the raging Jurassic Toho. Well hopefully we can find we can get things solved here as our, as the season X1 continues. It's got, it's got some we got a lot of action coming up, so stay tuned. It's been a pretty, pretty, really, in, really a dominating season. As the people in the comments were saying that Kenichi is a dominant women's champ, and she is, she has dominated season season X1 as its women's champion, defeated the likes of many opponents, defeating Rain at Bad Blood, which I, which Bad Blood did not get a chance for Rain. Well, obviously Kenichi won that champ, that won that title, that won that title defense, and still became the champion. Beating the likes of Kaigen, beating her own best friend Mal. It's been a really interesting season with Kenichi having a, a one hell of a season. Could be in line for Superstar MVP, possibly. She is really carrying the, the Divas division a lot, but but of course a rising star within Rebecca as we open things up with the women with the women's title on the line. This will be a very tough challenge for Kenichi, but Rebecca is a very fierce striker. It's the same with Kenichi. So we got two fierce strikers who can really, really, and know about you know the power of the phoenix, power of, the, of you know willing the the flames of burning of a burning passion. But it's gonna be a t you need a lot more than just really burning, burning people alive. <laughs> but but those fire punches will come in handy. But Kenichi doesn't have the power of the phoenix that much. She hasn't really unleashed her anger. So which that's when she usually gets angry. So that don't, don't want to make you know, Kenichi mad. Unleash the power of the Phoenix and really dominate you, but it's this will be a tough matchup. I, folks, it is you, it could be a, a close one, it could be a very short one. But let, the little bit of Rebecca had to work her way through into into this one, beating beating Jill Valentine. She got screwed out of a triple threat match a few months ago, but now Rebecca has earned herself a right, and you know hopefully Jill did cost Rebecca a chance to win that women's title, win, win a chance to go after Kenichi before, but now she has a chance. And she did regain her no more contendership against Jill Valentine, and people say Jill could be a good opponent too for, for against Kenichi. It's no doubt about it. It's been a good rivalry so far with Kenichi, and, but and Mal. But it was kind of like the worst one I've seen because know that these two are you know are best friends. But they, I think it was a nice competition between you know, both power and strength and beauty and puppies. So my but the the ultimate question is now. Will we see the title switch hands tonight, tonight, or will we see Rebecca or see Kenichi be it become the most dominant women's champion in it, in this on this roster? We're gonna find out hopefully as we hit the ringside. Let's get the action. It's a women's title match. Kenichi will defend it. All about well, well Kenichi could be alive for superstar MVP. There's some rumors saying she could be having to earn a spot in the MVP status, but again. Here we go, round one. And Rebecca already down to down to down to low health here. Rebecca just This is what, this is what Kenichi has to do. Or what Rebecca's gotta do. Really just stick and move here, but Kenichi's got those reversals. Big fire uppercut. Fire punch uppercut. And Oh, there it is! Whoa, baby! Puppies. Big kicks, big punches. Left and right for Kaninchi. And a big a big jump kick knocks down Rebecca. Right to the right to the side of the head. As Kenichi forced it makes a nice round one sweep, and now it's round two. And Kenichi's gotta make a and Rebecca's gotta make a comeback here. If she wants to win this woman's title. Like I said, she she really worked throughout season X1 here. Big fire punch. Oh, nice, nice reverse reversal. Good block from Kenichi. Both ladies doing a good job, but I think. Oh, big tum away, tum away roll. 
Big fire punch again. Big dra big mini dragon punch. This is it for Kini for this is it for Rebecca here. Kinchi right now is in Big drop kick from, from Kinichi. This is close. Oh, nice Sonic, nice flaming hurricane, and a low sweep, and oh my god, oh, oh my god, puppies. Yeah, I think I have to have the sense of that too. Whoa. Oh, we have a watch on my function, folks. Someone give her a towel. Oh my god. I thought I didn't know this was like a brawn panties match. Whoa. <laughs> Jesus. Wow. Yeah, she's got a nice rack. I'll give Rebecca that one. I mean, she didn't earn herself a contendership, but not th not that in, in that way. Kenichi, don't do that. This isn't a brawn panties match, Kenichi. 2-0 two, two for the champion. And she finished off, and finishes off in a hilarious finish. Oh, man. Undressality. I guess. Oh, man. Nicely done for Kenichi, and she finished off the season with the bang, and or with a flash, because she just flashed uh, Rebecca's tits to the crowd, and I know the crowd's gonna be happy with that one. <laughs> Let's get some likes on that one, folks. <laughs> All right, well that will do. It would settle match successful, but Kenichi with a funny way to win to end off the match. That was that was good. I'll give Kenichi that one. That was good. Whew. Oh, um, well, I'm gonna need 20 minutes after this match. <laughs> Excuse me, guys. What's up, two? We're back with the season finale, and it is gonna be it is finally we're ready to go. It's finally time for the for the for the match we've been waiting for. It's it is open up doubles, doubles number one. And we have a few doubles matches for the season finale, and we're our last. This is it. Our last final doubles match of the season. Our final final you know set of doubles. For, t for tonight, but especially this match. So what do I kick off with the tag team titles on the line? Kurt Minute, Kurt Minute and I out, uh, of course, outsmarted about but 11 other other tag teams who tr who actually became tag champs, and of course, were some of, some of them were responsible for, for actually costing the streak on the PPG's record, which are Bubbles and Buttercup. A grand total of 509, 590, 92 days. Was it 80, 583 days? 580, somewhere around the 500 days day mark. Well, as kind of near a near 600 days and almost two, a two-year title run has been been snapped thanks to a uh, to a few tag teams like the Broken Mass Pitch Combo, BK, uh, K Dash and, and Foxy, who made a heavy impact. But it was because we were supposed to have it a few weeks ago, as as ECW as we had a few weeks ago on ECW. They were interrupted by this new team, which we just I've been informed they're called the Nest Crew. Which of course the the Mephistopheles leader within Jivatma, uh, and Seth, Shimo and Whip. These this new faction's been uh pretty so far they have been uh, they came from they came from Extreme Saturday and now they're actually on their way to the, they are making the big making big waves and ambush the tag team chance and the challengers after what they did to them. Couple weeks ago, a couple weeks ago in ECW, those people, those people didn't didn't see the match. I'll leave a link down below because it was pretty uh pretty hectic and got interrupted, and all because of you know this new faction really making a statement. And it was a cool statement, but it, it does. I mean, then again, this new team making a name for themselves, but they'll be actually speaking of them, they'll be in action a little bit later on too. So. We'll see what they can do as a whole unit. What we'll the so this is probably my first time seeing what they can do. But finally, hopefully, no more. There'll be no more interruptions. Is this tag team? Is this is this for the tag team titles? We were waiting, waiting for this for a long time. After we had it, we had. I remember, like I said last time, these these two teams faced off. They got ambushed from from the nest from the nest crew, or the nest flock. But Chivatma is uh, really can, is is mostly the leader of this team. Trying to really just shot of the can really commanding attacks and poor Kirby. I mean Galactic Knight and Meta Knight came with a save, but they said it of course the Nest crew sending a big message to both not just for the for those two, but for the entire tag team division, because they'll be in the tag team spot. So a big change up for for the tag team division. We've seen Kirby Meta Knight, you know, 
being beat, well, got beaten up, or Kirby especially, Kirby was the one that got, definitely got ambushed with Mennonite with that cape saving Kirby. And it's a double champion trying to really form a plan, but the PPGs do want to get a chance for the title, for the tag titles, and that's their focus for, for tonight. But can't, the question is, can the PPGs regain the tag titles and make Bubbles, Bubbles a six-time tag team champ? This will be Buttercup, this, if they do win this, this will be Butter, that'll be Buttercup. Buttercup's second tag team title run. Possibly. But the, but the current minute night, the Star Warriors are the tag team champs. Here we go! They're defending it! PPGs is a rematch we've been, we've been waiting for. Here we go, round one, let's go. As Opti Blade such as a big uh big orb from a uh, big acid orb from Buttercup as we get, they both teams get first blood. Big super combo right to Kirby from Bubbles. Very important they wanted at least just win the tag team championships here. Actually, I did nerf down Meta Knight, so Meta Knight did get nerfed, sadly. But thankfully, um, the hardcore champions also had a good match against uh, Extreme Saturday. Oh, nice, nice soup, nice body slam there from Kirby. PBGs, I believe Meta Knight was stunned, and that, that's going to distract, uh, be a big distraction to the tag team champions and the champs. Oh, big time! Nightmare and Dreamland slash there. The legendary sword. Now Kirby trying to build some Mennonite ball by himself. Or Kirby, but Mennonite being stunned. Ooh. And there goes Kirby. Kirby down for the count on to Mennonite. Gotcha grab there from uh, Buttercup. Big, big roundhouse kick and Mennonite's in trouble here. And some champions trying to regain the tag team titles. Oh, and there goes Buttercup down. It's all down to 1v1 here. This is going to be close. And the Meta Knight with a big clutch air slash combo knocks down Bubbles and, and as a double champion with that hardcore title still in place. Gets a round one. A very close round one, but Meta Knight being stunned. Even though he did, he still clutched it. Really carrying the load here. Here comes round two. Big Sonic screen there. And I bought Blink Grab. And again, that's a that must be a glitch. To, yeah, oh no, no, I thought it was a glitch. Never mind. And now Great Minute trying to trying to bounce back. Literally bouncing back here. Oh, and Buttercup's already floored. But the maximum bubbles connects right to Meta Knight. And now the double team connects from the tag team champions. Oh, oh good lord. Wow. And a very impressive double team, stunning the, ta stunning the former champs and or slash challengers, but the champions get the 2-0 win over the PPGs. And thankfully, no Nest Crew. Yay! Finally, get to see a, a, a nice talent match with no, without no more interruptions. But it was kind of a glitch. I think it was a glitch in that in that system with Meta Knight getting stunned there by that blanky grab. I don't know how a blanky stuns you. I guess Meta Knight hates cute stuff. That could be another reason why, <laughs> but still, good job for a good, good good try though for the PPGs in that round one. But sadly, Mennonite get, takes a big spill. Uh, Mennonite still carry that one, even though he he's been been like been highly affected by that blanky grab. They should have stunned them a little bit more, and hopefully he will have seek seek more ease. But it didn't work out. So good job for 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 the champs. They do retain it. They keep the tag tag team titles, and Meta Knight's got a. And of course, we heard from Extreme Saturday uh, yet yet last night. Uh, Meta Knight will have to def is going to be defending the hardcore title on Extreme Saturday, so we could see Meta Knight more often because he's going to be. He had, he had one hell of a match against Black Queen, who almost won that damn thing, but it was a non-title match, sadly. But uh, hopefully, we'll see we'll see some good entertainment. Hopefully, for um, Amanda, who definitely won won that match last night. So we'll see Amanda versus Mennonite for the hardcore title. Yeah, still to come, guys. We got a lot of we got to, We're only halfway through into the season finale. We're down to our last few matches, and we will have some more, more fun with some doubles. And we got, we got I believe, we got three v three, and we got ourselves a East. And we got the East W Championship on the line. It is put up or shut up time. So we'll have a, we'll have, hopefully we'll see some more gold that more title matches tonight. See you there. We are back, everybody, and welcome back to to season finale. It is that time. 
But finally, Thousand Swords Cadia is back. I finally, uh, as I said before, in a, in a few, in a couple streams ago, while well, I mentioned that Cadia, I found my, I found an old file that had all my other files too from the previous drive that I had from my old desktop, which I still have it today. It's still dead, but at least it's still with me in memory. Speaking of memory, got my old memory, found it, and I actually did find some cool files. Found some old contracts that I had left back in Jersey, and I finally got a chance to pick them up and bring it with Cadia, bringing the classic Thousand Swords, which got the best, you know, best reaction out of me. Now that that's just it still gets me to this day of rewatching them some of the matches. But Katia, it's one of the, the best moments. Like, damn, how much damage that does. But yeah, Katia is back. Irene, Katia Queen's Blade returns. Former Knockouts champions. They are now Hall of Famers. They're definitely been chill. They've been they actually been doing really well. That following picking some good train. They return, and also a new team who have been a very interesting came over from the supplemental you know, from the Mutant Draft. Within, within Scylla, Mercury, and Jupiter. An anime match, which, which we don't see often that much anymore, but we used to saw Miku as an anime character, but we did, which is mostly against Tyrannos. But, knowing that the Sarah Scouts and Queen's Blade, oh, count me in, puppies these days. Irie, Katia, knowing that they got some, they got some, uh, giant knockers, some melons, uh, cantaloupes, which I don't know much. It will make sense. They're very juicy. <laughs> okay, I need. To, I gotta stop. <laughs> I gotta stop. I'm starting to become like TK now. Um, but nonetheless, still a great. This will be nice for the scene of Return of Queen's Blade. But Sam Lincoln and Jupiter have, are really. Uh, they. I believe they came up from from, uh, from Neil's show on SmackDown last last year, and they have been part of the, part of the supplemental draft. And they're going to be. Uh, we saw Jupiter before. We didn't see much Mercury, so. But Kapala one of my one of my favorite Sierra Scouts, I believe. Back in the uh, in the anime. Mercury and Jupiter were pretty, were, were pretty cool. But how will the uh, how will the Sierra Scouts, you know, do uh, do work against against the very very powerful Queen's Blade? Now they got they've been rejuvenated, they got some they got the Thousand Swords Cadia back. It's gonna be a crazy anime match, but no it's gonna it's a good dream match though too. To kick this I want to end it off too. With these two, with these two teams, and back to ringside, and Katia returning with the classic thousand sword. She is riled up. And here we go. It is going to be an epic matchup, round one. As we get this, this thing started, big. Ooh, nice, nice double team there from Queen's Blade. That's what that, and that's what made them former knockouts champs in the first place. One of those teamworks, and now for the big gigantic slam, big sword gutter gutting on uh, on, uh, Mer on Mercury, and Mercury already down. I remember all big dark slash, and now it's like turning invisible here, costing her health. But just some hefty damage, and providing the distraction. And now for the draining kiss, Jupiter going for something. Go for the oh thousand swords! Ah oh, man, ah oh, man, missed it though. But still, that spirit burners, those those flaming spirits, really coming in handy for Iris, Iris team, as Queen's Blade secured round one. All right, round two. Let's see if uh, so it's got to force a three here. Yeah, we got a round. We have a, We had our round three first, which was the six man tag match earlier, but it was not recorded. So. It was nice. Uh oh, here we go, Katia. Big sword, big sword got her right into the to the heart of the Sarah Scouts. Jupiter Thunder Crash, or Jupiter Thunder Dragon from Jupiter, and looks like Sarah Scouts now coming back. And Jupiter. Hey, what the hell? Oh, come on, not that goes. Oh no, not this again. Oh, Rain, Toshi, Kitana, and uh, and Ana. This is not looking good here. Oh God, this could be bad. But that with Katia, as the match was supposed to be, it just announced an eight divas tag team match, and, and Rain, Battle Club interfering, and Katia really pulled the down. Oh my God, 
Nice! A thousand swords! Holy crow! Meanwhile, it's down to Anna. It's Anna versus Anna versus Katia. And Katia right now getting pulverized by those thousand knives! Oh ho ho! Oh god. That little maid! What a bitch! Oh my god, oh man. This is bad. But a thousand swords. As bad as I'm interfering, this is obviously this disqualification. And both the Shadow Scouts getting and Queens are getting ambushed from behind. Just just little what happened two weeks ago with when the tags and chips and the challenges got ambushed as well. And the battles are making a statement themselves! Oh Jesus. Puppies though. You little those little cheaters! Oh my god! Man! Oh, well, obviously it was just, just, it's a disqualification, or no contest, but seriously, oh, really, Magnus Club, really? After a, a after, and, and when, after when the, uh, Sarah Scott's trying to make a comeback? They gotta be attacked like this? Come on! You gotta be, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, man. Well, that's gonna really hurt my vibes. And I know the fans not gonna be happy with this, with, the, with that one. Probably an angry mood seeing the battles come there are back and they interfered in this matchup. But they're making it but they are indeed making a statement as Rain as Katana and, and Anna standing standing strong. Standing tall in this case, but still I, I just I'm just disgusted by these bad girls club. Come on! After all after all that trouble, you got Black Queen, you got Toshi joining in. And then you and then again, Anna, well, Anna is Kaigen's former maid, as Kaigen fired her after being drafted to SmackDown. But now Anna you know, getting hired by Rain as a new leader. But now getting Black Queen and Tosh. Oh god, it's gonna be a really, really tough se next tough next season for these girls. As as Backless Club's getting bigger than ever. Look at that. Now you have about like eight divas now. In this case, seven divas, eight divas now. With Katana, with Jade and Melina too. Ugh. This is going to be a very tough season for the season X two. I'm telling you. Oh God. I'm a, I'm a little stressed, guys. I'm a little stressed, but we're we'll probably going to fight out of this together. So hopefully we can get out of it as it ends up in the, in the disqualification and no contest. Sorry, guys. Blame the Bagos Club in the comments. I I know there's going to be a lot of blaming. But blame the bad girls, they just interfered and ambushed Queen's Blade and, uh, and the Sarah Scout. So, just like before, it's going to be a tough challenge for them. Well, hopefully, we'll, hopefully, we'll continue on. Maybe on Extreme Saturday when Caddy and I will all hopefully try to do something about it. Because they just they just got back, and now they see Bad Girls Club, a new rejuvenated Bad Girls Club, just interfering. Ah, oh, Rain, what are you doing with this? I mean, I, I, I mean Rain was down, but Ana. As Ana Katana. And it kind of rhymes. Ana Katana. Yeah, yeah it, I'm a little stressed. I'm a little stressed. We'll come back hopefully for our next match. Ah. Jeez. Jeez Louise. Curse you, Bagos Club. Well, if you thought Bagos Club had it bad, oh boy. Well, well, actually, that's probably a bad, that's probably a bad punchline. Well, speaking of bad, more bad things have happened. With these these new four four stars added to the, on on this uh, plate of of extreme, as we return to the season finale, welcome back everybody. But still, it's been a rough 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 week. But speak it's but thankfully they got what they deserved in that kickoff show, as the net the newly new faction they're called the Nest Crew as they heard as they got words from Jivatma. Which is the the one and founder who created the one who or founder, but Seth actually leads the uh, Nest crew. But Jivatma, he, he gives his role to Jivatma because he's more of a, he 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 paid his a uh, yeah looks like he got his contract you know ripped off and really Jivatma you know really owning these three trying to really hopefully make a big name big name for themselves. But also a new four v four team actually on the on the other side actually they're making they're making some new waves. As finally get to finally get to see uh, Basara and Chanchi. I mean, this new team. I like how because I think even TK himself liked this new team of Basara and Chanchi. But now in four v four, they're gonna be even more unstoppable. The Ruru sisters, former Knockouts and Tag Team Champions, 
who actually, actually, they actually picked, they took out some good, good numbers and picked up some good victories too over the over the past. And now they're gonna be 4v4 specialists, and it's basically an all-out SNK battle, except with the, with the you know Shimo's not really an SNK character, but she does belong in that in that that in that predicament as far as you know Ikaruga making this version of Shimo. Whip and Seth are going to be really, uh, you get a lot of, you got brawling, got some long range attacks with Jivatma and Shimo and Whip. The physical beat down from Seth. But the Rue sisters, with uh, a big Samurai Showdown reunion in 4v4, so cool to see all of them actually exist here in Cham Cham and Basura. Are going to do some really work, they really do showcase their offense. I gotta like this team on the on the right, I mean Samurai Showdown's got a fun, they got a fun team. But not so fun with these four on the left. So, fun, or not fun versus fun. Will be even more fun when we get, when maybe we get a round three off of our hands. Maybe? Let's find out. Red rank side again, and hopefully, Bruce the Samurai Showdown reunion in this case. As this new 44 team is really ready to interact with this new faction, the Nest Crew. Now, holy moly, go! Oh, go, Jivatma! Jesus! Oh, no, Jivatma is pretty da he's a dangerous dude, the final boss from the King of Fighters Maximum Impact series. And Seth really beating down Nakaruru here. She's in a deep. But meanwhile, Buster and Chan I'm trying to. Oh, Chan is already down. Never mind. I was. I was. I assumed that uh, Boss was going for a underground special, but. He he didn't go on the run, he got blocked. And this Nest crew just pulverizing this new Samurai Showdown. Really spoiling the reunion. And now we, now we the bright, the lights are now darker. And round two. Just, and now this time Bossa went underground, taking Seth down to the pits of hell. This Chain Blade Maniac really stunning towards Seth. Nice. And now Roos is just trying to come back, but similar, but you know, meanwhile, Nest Crew. Big beatdown combo from Seth, New York style. And meanwhile, Chancer with a big boomerang combo. Boss are going underground on, onto Shimo this time. Ooh! Lots of blood. Blood spewed out of the and out of the ring. This is crazy fight. That long range of distance attack there from Jivatma. Oh, this is really. And there goes, there goes Rue sisters. Ch Super chain blade combo, and again Basura. All on the Basura here, but he doesn't have enough gas to pull off the stops here. He's trying to make a stop right now, but. And it, oh, nice, and again. I don't, I don't know. It's that. It's three on one. Whip. Oh, the double team! My God! And even though you gotta give a little credit to Shimo Showdown for putting up a good fight, but nonetheless, Jivatma and with Shimo going down from that chain blade from uh, from Basra, but it, but unfortunately, Jivatma and Whip with that double team stunning Basra and putting an end to his demise. Two zero. But they make a full debut! They had full debut for both teams, but we saw a debut a few a couple weeks ago when they ambushed the Tag Team Champs and the Challengers. We had that title match, but was interrupted thanks to the thanks to the faction. As we, as we just saw moments ago. But now, uh, big debut, big win! The first victory, first official victory here on, on Avivision, so that's good to hear that they're they're, they're gonna be, uh, they came from Extreme Saturday, they formed a good alliance, and now with their Sell their their souls being being sold to the devil, Jivatma, and try to make a make a new new world, a new change for the land of extreme, taking to the bright lights. And I don't know what I don't know what what Jivatma has plans in store, but hopefully season X two could be a change maybe for Jivatma and the, and the rest of the Ness crew. We're gonna find out hopefully. As this as this new team, but Sarah Showdown gotta give them a little credit. They got some moxie. They do. We got you got a lot of quickness. Got some bloody. Got some extreme. Um, um, of course, classic extreme moments from uh, Rose Sisters and with Rara. Very Rara and Shock has 
Yeah, I know. I can't blame Rara, too. And she's in pure shock and trying to give her a treat. Uh, well, I know her pet wolf's not going to do much either, but it's four against one. And I would stay away, Rara. I would stay away. This team, this new team is making some waves. And this is a huge team that really worked. They really worked into the main roster. So, big, big main, main, main roster big, in their first win on there. So, that's good to hear. And... Um, yeah, it'll be successful. Nonetheless, again, final score 2-0 for them, and that's it's been pretty rough for the Brewers sisters. I mean, they were top of the world as a, as a, you know, knockouts title. Finally got the knockouts titles, upstaying Queens Blade. But uh, they got because remember they believe they got cashed in from Yoko Yoko uh, bringing her partner in too because because Yoko had that pink gold ticket, cashed it in, became a knockouts champion, and. Uh, took those titles to SmackDown as Matt or and because Matt drafted Yoko Luna all earlier, like right before they did sign Yoko, Yoko and Luna. But so I got a trade from them, so I did get somebody from the supplemental draft. I think it was just the Sarah Scouts I got an exchange from SmackDown, so they used to make a good way, but the, even they got ambushed too, so kind of a tough loss there for. But they are, but Yoko is a Hall of Famer herself, but she said she didn't make more waves over there on SmackDown, already uh, a successful star. She already had a lot of experience over there on the blue brand last year, and now this year she's coming back as a champ. And I believe the Toho's won the Knockouts titles too, so I'm surprised they, uh, the classics with Raimi and Marissa, the, the OG Toho's. I'm surprised they got some big waves over there too. But still, yeah. Tough loss for the Samurai Showdown, the newly rejuvenated Samurai Showdown. Yeah, so it was a tough, it was a tough, it was a tough one, really tough. In the meantime, guys, we show return. We, got, we still got a lot of action continuing. We got so we got some more, and we still got it still to come. Main event, it's do or die time. EXE Ted DiBiase for the ECW title. It could it take could the ECW title go? Can we go into to Saturday Showdown, or will it stay here? Oh, no, sorry, shut up. Sorry, Extreme Saturday. I'm thinking of Neo show again. Neo, we missed you, Neo. We missed you, buddy. We missed Neo Mega Man. <laughs> we missed you. Shout out to Saturday Showdown. Extreme Saturday, in this case. Will it be DBLC bringing that to that to the Saturday, to bring title to the Saturdays? Or will we see the main roster deliver, the EXC the main roster deliver, and hopefully keep the title over there? And, but EXC is sending, sending a big message to Reaper. As well, too, and sending message we saw last night. We'll have we'll, we'll, talk, we'll have more talk about we'll talk about that late, later on, as I made it. It's still to come, and we got some more action still. So stay tuned as extreme as we'll play on stream Saturday for this upcoming Saturday. But stay tuned as we will come back with more season finale action. Stay tuned. Hey, what's up, guys? We're back, and before before it continues, we are our semi main. We have our sim, semi main event. We're getting closer and closer enough to the end of all of our. This and sadly, this is our last four v four match of the season. I'm kind of sad now because we're about to end off and really be left in the left. Isa will be left in the dust for a little while until we can you know dust it off for next season, for sure. But it's going to be a tough one. It is going to be a very powerful. 4v4, a granddaddy of all, granddaddy 4v4, a new Pikachu has been has been uh, updated. I did, Pikachu's been updated. Great Ninja, Jiggly, Jigglypuff, and Blaze again. The Pokémon team are back. The the ones who got drafted or got, were part of supplemental draft. Pikachu, Great Ninja, Jigglypuff, Blaze again. Pikachu, Blaze again did earn or have a chance to hopefully try to progress themselves into the into the tag team division, but unfortunately they got floored by the by their Smash Bros. counterparts or colleagues with a Kirby Kirby Meta Knight. So hopefully we'll see that happening for them and possibly maybe a chance for them to hopefully become an expert have expertise. Pikachu Greninja had had some really downfalls on Raw when they last year, but when according to TK, of course Pikachu Greninja Jimmy Puff had had some Really bad luck. Charizard as well. Like, Charizard too. It could have been better for them. I think Jigglypuff, Greninja, Pikachu, and a, a wolf. now replacing Blaziken is... Uh, sorry, replacing Charizard is Blaziken. So, 
as I said before, Blaze and Septile were, were split up from the draft. Septile going to Raw, Blaze and stays on ECW. My my spirit mon is Blaziken, so that's what makes me Azure Blaze. That that man, that poke that Pokemon, that fire fighting machine. Even though he's he has a lot of weaknesses. He can't swim. He's He's not that much of a swimmer, but he can really go. He can dive into that magma pit, those magma lava pits. He's doing some training. Uh, as he, he is a former Poké champ, former tag team champion, so it's going to be a tough piece. But a new K. But speaking of which, a new team. I'll not speak. We have a lot of new teams on the way. We're really showcasing their preview of what could be happening for next season. A new Mega uh, Mega Man Robot Masters team within a Crash Man Air Man. Top Man and Elect Man, all of them go from SmackDown. A huge, huge stuff metal. Another stuff metal pick. So we're gonna see which of these teams can move forward and build momentum. We saw Pikachu and Blaze again. Uh, Green Ninja Jungle Buff really trying to do some damage. Even on Extreme Saturday, they couldn't do much, but they're still having a struggle. Struggle with they really picked up the. They're trying to really pick up the slack. Or what they did on Raw, uh, if, if, just a few years ago. But can they really do it here? Can they? Can they hopefully get some get a get a big win in full before against this new Robot Masters team who also get who also had some major momentum? But they're gonna be uh, they could become you know stars in in the making for tag team divisions. But I believe Fielder are actually gonna go ahead to the Intercontinental Division, so that's gonna be some good for some surprises. Me, we'll see Airman, Crash Man, Pikachu, Greninja, Blaziken, you know, all of them are could be part of that Intercontinental Division. All right, here we go. Round one. It's time to be the action, as it's going to be a really tough match. I apologize for, I apologize for that time stamp. Um, just had some dinner, ready to go. And now I'm all have a lot of food within me. I'm ready to go. Oh my god! Woo, man! And I'll tell you, this this new uh, Robot Masters team they came from SmackDown. Very impressive. Good job, Neo. Good, good, good shit, good shit. <laughs> hey, let the lightning go with a big time spark bomb. Oh my lord! It's super effective right towards Greninja. This is gonna be a bad, a bad case of, you know, Pokemon. You know what? I, well, the Pokemon poop at him. I have no idea. They're gonna have a lot of anal cavities after this. Blazing getting decimated here, and this is gonna be bad news. I mean, those little spark bombs from the left man looking at the top man with that big gyro, big, a big gyro top, or top gyro connects. I don't know what that was called, but they are impressive, I'll give them that. It's about right, round two. He's going for that, uh, this is a thunderbolt. I believe it's a thunderbolt or bolt tackle. I'm going to go for a big time, a hurricane. Big tornado special. No tornado combo. Some more spark bombs from uh, Elect Man. Tornado spin from Air Man. Air Man and spark bombs coming to the aid. This is some good power moves. Holy moly! Holy crap! Uh, that, this is intense. And Blaze can get it once again. Deja vu from the previous round. Big super gyro special. Or top gyro, excuse me. Again, going up for a top airborne gyro, top gyro special. Sorry, I'm just losing control of this matchup. But so spark bombs coming in handy, and then crash bombs also coming to the to the assist. My God, Doctor Wiley, you better be Doctor Wiley better be impressed because good lord, they got these guys trained up and tuned up to to ECW and making their debut two zero. As for the Pokemon. <laughs> Pokemon literally getting bombed, sparked, getting nutted, she, uh, nutted, getting <laughs> decimated. Wow. Dr. Wiley better be happy with this. I know he's going to be just jizzing himself later on. Or going to have a massive heart on. But we'll see his, his creations get the victory. But I'm an, even I'm impressed. That is very impressive. Do you, do, you just, do you see the damage done? The combination and the power moves? Good lord. You got the top gyro spin. I had lo I lost control of that match, but it's 4v4 for you guys. It is crazy. But I couldn't keep up with that. It's that's tough. 
I'm just gonna, sit, just gonna, just gonna have to do one thing is sit back and enjoy because good lord that is impressive very impressive from, uh, from, from the Royal Masters just making quick work of the Pokémon of the Pokémon stars unfortunately Pikachu with a new but even with the new Pikachu and Blaziken didn't do jack crap know that these Robot Masters are super dominant and the training they did on SmackDown, whatever Neo's doing, outstanding. So, or what Neo did in the past, outstanding. But still, nonetheless, absolute domination for the Robot Masters. Continue to pick up the good work and possibly another future faction for the Tag Team Division. Possibly an another way to put you know put the whole roster on notice. And it's certainly going to really uh, give a huge... Warm welcome to seat to ECW. Welcome to ECW, guys. Season X two will be around the corner. Hopefully for for the next you know, the next few months. So they'll probably build momentum for next season. Let's let's let's, 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 let's visit on Extreme Saturday. All depending on the new general manager, who she she has been doing a great job so far. As we'll have well, of course it is it's do or die time. As last night's Extreme Saturday. Hopefully it was. We'll see how it goes, but EX, Mega Man EXE, and with his new, his two new partners last night, really put up a hell of a show, in that in that matchup. So, but guaranteed, it's going to be uh, another another action-packed installment for the, because it is our main event, and of course, the EXE did build momentum from last night. So, of course, now he's going to have to build more momentum. And hopefully, he's he's just getting ready for it, ready to go. He's just. Get a nice, get a nice protein shake and a little maybe some energy, nice energy drink to get him pumped up and ready to go. Cause it's a title match. It's our main event. And it's up next. Stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen. Finally, it's this. It sadly, is our final match of the season. And so it's, it's before we get to our, to our main event. Just want to say thank you, everybody. Thank you for tuning in. Every every Thursday, even though we had some major problems with traveling and a lot, it's been a pretty busy season. But we are de we, we have well, de thankfully we have, I have the time off, and I have Raw at least. You still get to see see uh, Imagine Raw every Monday night, so or possibly on a Tuesday mo or on a Tuesday morning because you know just basically recapping the episode. But still, you get to see Raw on Mondays, so stay tuned for that. It'll be actually be Raw tomorrow, tomorrow night. So because this is a special edition of, of ECW. It'll be, it's gonna be on a Sunday, so we're just a few. We'll probably have 24 hours later, and then Raw shows up, and probably we'll just recap the season finale. It's just really just replacing some of the matches coming up. So bit of a you know recap from the adults who haven't seen the match matches from the previous night, which will be happening tomorrow. But there'll be some recaps coming up for Extreme Saturday as well. So. But for the time being, I want to thank everybody else for your support all the season, all season long, and within the last eight months. The comments, the likes, you guys have been sending. ECW is indeed number one. It's is always number one in sports entertainment. But so thank you guys so much again. And Imagine has been successful. It's been growing. The channel is starting to grow every single day. And I'm trying. We're all doing the best we can. With even though we're just you know trying to cope with this coronavirus issue, it's still spreading. Please be safe and be stay well and stay together. Cause we're all in this together, guys. But knowing that this title match is important, yeah, this is a lot of pressure, but now we get to our main event. But thank you again for inviting us into your homes. And we want to just, just say, we, I appreciate it, and Superstars appreciate you, you guys leaving a whole bunch of feedback, leaving likes. And if you guys are, of course, are watching this right now, leave a like if you guys enjoyed, 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 this, enjoyed the matches, enjoyed this super stacked card for this special edition of ECW, knowing that it is the end of it. And we're about to say, uh, you know, say good night, say goodbye for now. But we'll come back sh stronger than ever in the next three months. Hopefully, the virus will be over with by the time then, by t for the time being, maybe around the, s the summer. And hopefully, we can begin maybe September, possibly July, July or September. Possibly, I don't know. It depends. But I think also we still got a few other fun events. ECW presents one night stand. Yes, One Night Stand is back for this year. I'm very excited because, of course, it's on June 1st, the anniversary edition of the Land of Extreme. And June 2nd will be the, the Mijin Gauntlet match. So be ready if it's ready to tune into that tier. It's going to be some fun action. And the winner, of course, the winners will earn a title opportunity for their specific brands. Or, or we're also going to have a nice inv an invitational 
or in a promotional battle or this case yeah, battle well, not battle roll, but a full before gauntlet. This time it'll be a team gauntlet. I'm sure that's gonna be the case. If not, I'll it's probably be random. I have I have to still gotta think about that. But for the time being, yes, we do we have a lot of events coming up? The return of one night stand in uh, in in June. Can't wait for it. Two months away. It's gonna be pretty cool. Beginning of June. And then you got a few th the other things. Uh, I believe possibly July will be the season premiere of X2, which of course a lot of people ask me in the comments. Yes, this is going to be an, a season X2 coming up. Whew, it is going to be a really tough match in EXE, who has been all over the place. He's defended the title. He's already he's already been a superstar MVP in the past. He could be possibly another candidate again. He's he had that he's held the title since Night of Champions where he won that title back in December. So, it's going to be a tough, tough battle, knowing that Mega Man EXE is, is one of the best, is one of the, the best champions we had, we have here on, on ECW. And he's been a phenomenal star. He could be a, he could be a three-time Superstar MVP, possibly. He's, a, he's, a, he's probably in that candidate spot we haven't, we'll probably talk about. Also, tune in on Tuesday, where we, well, of course, I'll be talking about the Mugen Season X1 reviewed the wrap-up season, where I get to wrap, finally get to finalize the season, come up, come up with a closing statement, and review all the matches from the from this past June, last year. So it's gonna be pretty epic. So let's, stay tuned. We still got more post post season stuff or off season stuff, and the free agency is still, you know, being rumored. So far, so good. But now. Mega Man X has 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 defended the title for a while, and it's all about it's pulling up or shut up. And we had EXE in that six-man tag team match last night, Extreme Saturday. Sakura, uh, she she spoke in the, just uh, a few months, just like a few weeks ago, and talked about you know her her first acting role as GM as Extreme Saturday invited the ECW champion with two partners of his choosing. And I and EXC pulled off a good one. It was the DM, the return of DMC boys who were just trying to back things up. And of course, they're both EXC and the DMC boys pick up, pick up a he not only pick up a win, but probably avenging Chun Li's, you know, demise. Either what DiBiase did, which which we got we were gonna bring we were bring up to his perspective in this title match because DiBiase won and not won that grudge match and became the number one contender. For the East W Championship, and knowing that Ken is probably what was going is back probably back in home in California, not happy and kind of you know, or just in this case unhappy of his performance you know, at a grudge match. He tried everything. He even he was in his angry side. You don't make Ken angry. Ken smash, but <laughs> that's probably Hulk there. Um, but now it is going Dibiase. He won it fair and square in that grudge match. It was a pretty brutal match. And that's like, damn, the, I mean, the, the Final Destination was never the same back at the Road to Victory. Which, by the way, the pay was pretty nice. Go check it out. It was pretty awesome. I'll, again, I'll leave a link down below for that, too. Because, holy crap, what a... It was a pretty nice, solid pay-per-view. Okay. DiBiase has earned his, earned his spot. But can the Million Dollar Dream Team get involved and hopefully help DiBiase win? But I think DiBiase is just saying he doesn't want any help at all. He wants to win his... On his own, and uh, that's kind of hard. To, and he wants to win on his own, but he, but know that DiBiase likes to cheat, so he's he's known as the bit one of the biggest and dirtiest cheaters in in WWF. So let's see how it goes. I know EXE is a fighting champion. He's 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 doing it for doing it for us, representing the, the main roster. DiBiase is actually representing the Extreme Saturday roster. I mean. It's been pretty rough for for, for for Ted at first, but when he debuted, he ambushed a lot of people. He ambushed Jill and Andrew on Saturday. He really has been giving a bit of very, he's been very annoying, attacking superstars left and right, he even attacked EXE and put him out, put him out with bruised ribs, but EXE is feeling much better. I got an email from EXE saying that he's going to be more ready to defend his title. He's, he wants to be, he's all focused. Folk, all about focus, and he wants to defend this title because this could be his. And the EXC stated this could be his last time defending the championship. That's a true fact. It could be, 
DBS, knowing that DBS has got a lot of power. But this is all about one thing is just hopefully EX can pray to, just pray to the tolts of God to re, just to retain this title, to give him a lot of strength. But it's probably be a quick match, knowing that EX is full of quickness and DBS is full of power. Okay, well, it is going to be in it for the ages, folks. Our final match of the season, and no, this is how how appropriate is this? The one of the sturdiest cheaters in, in the in the in the game, one of one of the most quickest and fierce strikers in the game. It's put up or shut up. ECW title match on the line, and it's happening right now. Round one, begin the action as we kick off this main event. And TBS a big arm drag, nice hip toss. A big body slam there, and EX has got to use quickness here, but no, DBS has got some defense, so EX did pick up a big victory at the, in that six-man tag team match. Get to it's Million Dollar Inc. And EXE, like I said, one of the fiercest strikers in the game. And there's EXE with some Mega Buster combos, really sticking and moving here. Nice. Nice toss there from DBS. I believe it was those some needles from DB. I'm pretty sure those were needles, but nonetheless. Cyber set up for cut draining DBSI. Caught him very smart from the champion. Just caught him right there, cutting his defenses and showing the pressure. And that's what EXE is. That's what made EXE a champion and made him so da ooh, so made him so dangerous. Million dollar clothesline. And EXE right back on the back on the mark. And he's, he's, he's trying to play defense, but unfortunately EXE gets counted with those Mega Buster combos. And EXE is going to really big quick work in this matchup. He's got him, and he does, and he connects. Win. EXE putting the hurt on DiBiase. Good lord. And EXE gave him a lot of strength. Really fire, literally firing away on those Mega Buster combos and picks up the 2-0 finish. And what a way to end the season. With the with st and still the ECW champion, he he's that's why I mean, that's why he got he made, made him a champion in the first place. Very quick, fast pacing action, and one of the fastest strikers in the game. So that's that's it. That is the season. I'm gonna turn off the uh, audio because I think we're I think we're done here. I was gonna say this from the from, from the bottom of my heart. Thank you to everybody. I cannot thank you guys enough for your support. You guys have been very patient with the, with the with, with all the support and stuff. And uh, by the way, I am also also streaming on Twitch. You can follow me at Azure Blazing. The link will be down below for the Twitch. Twitch will be down below. You guys can leave. Uh, yeah. I'm already tired from this commentary. This is something that just takes takes it out of you. But seriously, I do thank you guys enough. If you can follow me on Twitch. I finally been able to stream over there. I'll place and I'll do a small little promo on that too. But it's in the promos box down below, uh, down in the description down below. Please go ahead and check it out. Follow me on Twitch. I already had some cool streams and on there from some fun, funny clips. You guys will look forward to. And oh my God, man, it just takes it out of you. But I'm very happy. I'm very grateful for you guys for just tuning in. Much appreciated, and I'm praying for hopefully you guys are staying safe. Praying for everybody, for all my friends, my family, of course, and hopefully, hopefully stay together, stay safe, stay indoors. Make sure you just make sure you wash your hands. A very important thing to, thing to do. But I, I do thank you guys so much. You guys have been pa again patience. We'll, we'll reward you with this, and this will reward you for sure. And you guys will be while you guys are watching, staying at home. And thank you for hopefully inviting me, inviting you, hopefully we, we, all of us from ECW are inviting you, you're, you're invading your homes and your TV or TV or phones or uh, computer screens. But thank you guys so much. It, it means a lot. I do. It's it's a lot of work, and it's, we've been trying to we're doing the best we can to hopefully try to cope with this, with trying to really with this coronavirus coming. We can't really travel anywhere else at the moment. We had a fun time in New Hampshire. It was really great. Uh, hopefully we can come back stronger than ever in the summer. We got a lot of work to do. Season X two is gonna be around the corner. Hopefully in the next three months, we gotta be keep prepared. We got also got the don't miss. We still got the season season X one roundup or wrap up. I keep saying roundup wrap up season to hopefully review the entirety 
of of the season, and of course, well, boy, oh, of course, we're gonna be crowning our superstar, and for the first time on 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 YouTube, we're we're actually gonna be streaming that. It'll be a live stream on YouTube around around two o'clock Tuesday Tuesday afternoon, Tuesday night, because we're going to be we're just gonna crown a brand new superstar MVP, and hopefully, you guys can place your votes, and hopefully, we get to we hope we hope we get some a lot of people in the stream. This is this is it. That's the end of it. But we're still not through yet. We still got the one. We still got one night stand. That's coming up in June. We got the Mugen Gauntlet. That's the annual Gauntlet is back, and hopefully we'll have a new. We'll have some new contenders. Also having this. It's kind of like we'll, we'll, we may invite Raw and SmackDown maybe and Monday Night Matt. Possibly have a chance to you know enter their enter their spot still. And there's still a lot of free agents over there on the purple brand because I think that's gonna be it for them and for, for that brand. I have no idea. Unless Matt decides to just rebrand it, hopefully make it something interesting that returns, like turn like maybe like an NXT or something or Velocity or whatever. But nonetheless, I do appreciate you guys' support. We got a lot of work to do coming up. We got some major activities coming up in the off season. Lots to think about, and probably expect a lot of a lot of people sending me shit. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Sending me stuff, some whole bunch of stuff for uh, for the for the off season. That's all I say. But thank you, everybody. And with that being said. As always, I normally I'd say blaze on, but let's, uh, I have no idea. Well, let's wait on for season two, for season X2. I'm Andrew Blaze. Thank you for watching. Thank you for joining. Good night, everybody. From us here, from, from, from Amy Mugen, see you next time and stay safe. Really.